Now I'm going to show you how to update your Centena 2 firmware. There are two firmwares in relation to the Centena 2. One provided by Rat Pack, which is not able to be done in the field as it requires the unit to be opened. If your Centena is over a year old, reach out to me at the number posted below and we can verify whether it needs to be sent in. Most likely it won't, but just for verification or peace of mind, feel free to reach out. Here I'm going to show you how to update the firmware over CRMX Toolbox. Now this is a Lumen Radio app that's available both through Google Play or the Apple Store. So here we're using an iPad and I've downloaded CRMX Toolbox here. The icon looks like so. We are going to open the toolbox. Now you have to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled. If it is not, when you try to select connect, it's going to prompt you and saying please turn Bluetooth on. So as I was saying, we have to go to our connect option here. We have four on the main screen. We're going to select connect, ensure Bluetooth is on, and you'll see a list of Timo 2 devices. The Timo 2 is the type of chip that's installed in your Centena. We have multiple here because we have a few in the building. So what we want to do is ensure that we identify the proper Centena that we're trying to update. And how we do that is begin with the Centena with the strongest signal as it's usually the one that's closest to you. Select that, hit identify. And what you want to see is what you're seeing here is a rotation of the colors of the internal LED and flashing of your indicators. This is letting you know, hey, this is me. This is what we're, this is what we're changing on the configuration side. So let's go ahead and cancel that ID. We know that it's the top TMO too, so we're going to select it. This time we're going to hit connect device. So now that you're connected, here we've already had this unit updated to the latest firmware revision, which is 1.0.6.3. And to note, anything in the 106 range is compatible with the latest Lumen Radio Stardust transmitter and the CRMX squared protocol. So if that is your concern as far as firmware goes, anything 1060 and higher will be available to be compatible with the Stardust. Now, if this was not updated, it would have the update firmware option here selectable. In this case, it says no new firmware available because you're already at the latest. In any other case, you would go ahead and select that and follow the prompt.